Hey guys, Dr. Betts here coming up with another fantastic chemistry video and today we're going to begin our exploration of alkanes. Alkanes, classic compounds you have to know. The first hydrocarbon you're going to learn about. Hydrocarbon, molecule that contains carbon and hydrogen only. They are found in everything from natural gas to petroleum. They are everywhere. You'll find hydrocarbons pretty much everywhere. They, the smaller of the alkanes have very low boiling points and are typically gases. Those are your uh, ethanes, methanes, propanes, butanes. Uh, butane, kind of in between a liquid and a gas, depending on the temperature. They have a generalized formula, CnH2 to the n plus 2. So, for example, CH4 is uh, the first alkane. It's uh, C1, so if you apply the formula, so C, so n equals 1. 2 to the 1 plus 2 is 4. So the number of hydrogens is four. And that's how you, uh, you know, generally speak of an alkane. And here are the first three examples. This is methane. This is ethane. And this is propane. Notice how they all end in A-N-E. Alkanes always end in A-N-E. Here are, some example, here are some examples of expanded formulas of alkanes. As you can see, every carbon has four bonds, you know. And, you know, notice here, they all have the same molecular formula, but different uh, chemical makeups, different bonding. Those are constitutional isomers. So are these of each other. All right. CH2 group is known as a methylene group. So this is a methylene here. That's a methylene, that's a methylene, that's a methylene, that's a methylene. Oops, sorry, those aren't methylenes, pardon me. Get out of there. There's a methylene. These groups here are called methyl. So, okay, so these are methylene. And this is methyl. Very, very common uh, ways we express it. All right, here are the first four hydrocarbons. Now, these are... Uh, well, you have to know the first 10, but these are the four hardest ones because they're the ones that don't follow geometry rules. After C4, you follow geometry. So C4H4, CH4 is methane, CH3, CH3, or C2H6, that's known as ethane, C3H8, that's propane, C4, oops, Oops, you can't really see that very well, can you? Let me put that up there for you. There you go. C4H3610, that is butane. Now, the only way to know these is memorize them. Uh, there's no, as far as I know, there's no rhyme or reason. There's a skeletal formula of propane. Oops, sorry, let me go back. There's the, my goodness, things are going, things are going wrong here. There we go. So here's the skeletal skeletal formula of propane, and there's a skeletal formula of butane. And here are a whole bunch of hydrocarbons. You are required to know at least up to here. I don't care if you know the chemical uh, properties or anything like that. I do care that you know the names, the structure, the formula. I don't really care about any of this physical data. You don't have to memorize that. If I ever want you to know physical data, I'll just give it to you. Do not ever memorize physical data for this course. All right. Now, there's names for these things, of course. Now, notice how butane, C4H10, has a couple of different constitutional isomers. Here is this basically the linear form of butane. And when it's like the linear form, non-branching form of any hydrocarbon, you call it the N version. I don't actually know what N stands for. I probably should look it up, but I don't care that much. I just think it, I think it just stands for natural or normal. So normal would just be straight chain, one carbon after another, no branching. Now this one is known as isobutane. Now how I recognize iso is I look for two methyl groups on a, on a carbon. I look for two methyl groups on a terminal carbon. So if you want to think of this as a chain, this carbon here has one methyl group here, one methyl group there. So it's isobutane. Here are some, here are some uh, constitutional isomers of pentane. This one's n-pentane. 
Notice it's just one carbon after another in a non-branch format. Here's a branched version. So here's a terminal carbon, a couple of methyl groups attached to it. So it's isopentane. And here's an example. This is called neopentane, where you have a bunch of methyl groups attached to a centralized carbon. Now, we're not really going to use these names very much because we use the IUPAC naming system, the systematic naming system. The other system is more of a colloquial system. It's been around for a long time. It's still used. Uh, but we're going to really focus on the IUPAC or the systematic naming system. Okay? Now, I want to cut this video a little bit short because I don't want to get into IUPAC naming uh, in the same video as this because it will make it really long. So let's just stop here and come back and do IUPAC or systematic naming in the next video. Now, with that, I want to wish you all good luck and good chemistry. We'll see you all soon.